Hi everyone, my name is Electro Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker Tutorial. This is the second time I've done it now. Uh, first time I did it, the sound didn't record. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to remind, remember myself what I said. So basically, um, we're going to be going back to the inventory. So if you didn't know, um, Heartbeats did a tutorial on an inventory, which I'll leave a link somewhere around here. And then I went along and for my first ever video on YouTube, I said, you know what, I'm going to make this so it's on the GUI layer. So I'll leave that video over here. And yeah, uh, I had some good feedback. Um, it set my channel alight, I guess you could say. Um, but then people wanted, they said, hey, could you do drag and drop? You know, is that possible? And I said, yeah, sure, it is possible. And they said, well, how could you do it? So this is what this is going to be. It's going to be a step-by-step -step guide, how to do it. Uh, Heartbeast, a great tutorial. Check it out now if you haven't already. Also, these sprites aren't mine. I'd like to say that now before whoever does own them tells me. Basically, someone's emailed me these at some point um, to help me, well, to help them with their inventory thing and they're really pretty as you can see I love them so much in fact that I'm going to use them for this tutorial so if you have drawn these yourself if you if you did use them post it in the comments and I will give you a shout out of course because they are wonderful who have made them so let's just go in straight ahead let's go in so first thing we want to go blah, 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 blah. first thing we are going to want to do is change this event so it's freed up to a key press. So let's do key press. And let's try I for items. And then we don't need this because uh, well, we'll be there. <laughs> and then really, all we're going to want to do is just do script inventory pick up item and then we're just going to have the item so that's uh, all ready to go now first thing we're going to do go into a create event and we're going to add some variables so first thing we're going to do is global dot last item it's going to equal zero to start with so what this is going to do is going to keep track of the item that you've got picked up it's the item that you are dragging um, so that when it drops it, it drops the right item. So I'm going to add global.it and this is going to check to whether you are holding an item or not. Then we're going to have... Oh, actually we don't need that. That's all we need really. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go and make a mouse event, global mouse, and it's going to be left pressed. Um, it's going to be pressed because we're going to make a release on it as well later. This is very similar to what you've seen before. Grab the item. We're just gonna. Oops, not that. <laughs> that was me fixing stuff earlier. Var gx equals script. Let's do gx mouse x. And then var gy equals script y. To GY mouse Y, and what I'm going to do quickly as well is just copy this because we are going to use it later as well, and it takes a while to type. So if the count of where we are, which is in this case GX, not XX, is bigger than zero, oops, going into Python then. We're not doing Python. Um, then we are going to remove the item. This is just temporarily. I've done that wrong now. <laughs> it's just going to temporarily remove it, so it's not in that spot anymore. Because it's going to be in our hand. Oh, and we'll change it later um, to set the global dot uh, variable to say that we are got the, that item. Also, our we are going to be holding an item, so we're going to set that to 1. Finally, 
We're not going to put that in because I realised when I did that the first time that it doesn't work. <laughs> so now we're going to do left released. So let's go ahead and make the same event, but it's going to be left released this time. Drag a bit of code over. Drop the item, and we're just going to paste those in we had before. It's exactly the same, really. It's very very similar. But this time, if we are holding an item, so if i equals one, then we are going to add. The item that we are holding. Oops, last item. Uh, and then we need to do it. GY. And we are going to set the last item and uh, it variables back to their defaults so that they're no longer true. Like this one. And um, that's basically it. Basically, it. last thing we're going to do for this video, it's going to be in the next part, the next one, is we're going to make a draw event. And this is just so our um, thing gets drawn on. So let's call it draw the item. Draw. <laughs> draw the item. So if global.it equals one, then we're going to. Draw sprite sprite items global last item. This will be a sprite items on yours. For some reason, uh, I named it something different on this one. Global last item else x else i. And this is just drawing it on the item that we're holding on our mouse so we can run this now it won't work properly um, but it'll probably do okay so for some reason fraps is right one second I'll just get rid of that fraps has decided that this is a fully working game and it needs to put its overlay on it so now we can press I and it will add a random item as you can see uh, and we can kind of drag it so the number goes down and you can see the item being drawn but when we drop it it doesn't know what item it is because we haven't set the global at last item variable and in the next video if you want to go and watch that it will probably be out next week um, we will go over the scripts and how we're going to change them around to make it work so, if you enjoy this tutorial for the second time for me, you know, this has been a 20 minute video for me as opposed to what would have been 10 video. Sorry if it sounded like a vacuum that's going in the background. That's just my laptop's going crazy. But if you enjoy this tutorial, leave a like. Check out Heartbeast always, 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 always. And I will talk to you later.